this is another episode of The Bourbon Experience. Wait a minute! Who are you? Hi, welcome to another episode of The Bourbon Experience. You must be out of your damn mind, Sean. Give him several cuts to choose from. <laughs> we'll that? start with one. Go ahead. <laughs> start with one? Yeah. One. <laughs> Welcome to Chinese Water Torture <laughs> with bourbon. <laughs> Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Bourbon Experience, and you will recognize we've made some set improvements. Josh isn't here. <laughs> isn't that amazing? All right. Take 47. I know. Recently we had a drop in Ohio, and we were able to... Get if, if we were lucky enough to, uh, a bottle of E.H. Taylor, a bottle of Eagle Rare, or a bottle of Blanton's. No, not this Blanton's. That Blanton's. The problem that we have here is in Ohio, this got marked up, and after tax, Blanton's is now 80 bucks in Ohio instead of the normal MSRP of 60, 65 bucks. Keep your hands off of that gold. I was just saying, I would pay that for this. 80 would, bucks for that? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I would pay that for this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to pay 80 bucks for the regular Blanton's. Yeah, so I mean, that's now, and Blanton's is a sought after one. The, the secondary market is ridiculously high in, in, in certain places. A bottle of Blanton's go for 80 bucks here in Ohio was kind of a, a sticker shock kind of moment. A little bit. And, uh, you know, especially when, you know, like eat my bottle of Eagle Rare I got for 45 bucks after tax. And Eagle Rare is better than Blanton's, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Well, even <clears throat> you buy a bottle of uh, E.H. Taylor. It's like 35 or 40 or something like 45. that. It's 45. 45, 45 yeah. for a bottle of E.H. Yeah. Taylor. And that's, that's, and that's the, of the three, I'd say that's the top one. I mean, yeah. yeah. If I'm given a choice between any of, any of Buffalo Trace's products, that's the bottle I'm going to grab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, any of their normal baseline stuff. Not like I don't know. Weller Antique might get might get my pick over that sometimes. Yeah, uh, we can get this in Kentucky and at at the distillery for sixty five bucks. So is it worth just waiting to get one bottle every three months? Make a trip down to Kentucky to get that. Or is it make more sense to just shell out the 80 bucks? Well, that's your own personal thing. But we have a comparison here with the what's in the glass. Is we've got another one that a lot of people have done a comparison to that they actually say this is something that is competitive and matches better price-wise with Blanton's to give that as another option to the Blanton's. So now what we have set before us is a choice. Do we prefer what's in the box, or do we prefer the Blanton's? So, welcome to another episode of What's in the Box? Yes, what's in the box? Can we start guessing? <coughs> can we start guessing? <laughs> you can. You're wrong. Oh. <laughs> Have I had it? No. Well, not, not that I know of. Oh, okay. I mean, I so, on the right, we've got the Blanton's, right? Yeah, the, the right's Blanton's, yeah. the left is what's in the box. I think the more distinct nose is actually what's in the box. Yes. I don't know. I'm get, I'm, I get my, the, what I normally expect from Blanton's, but then I'm not getting anything a whole lot different when I go to the other one because I'm not either. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting the same nose, the same all the way through. That light sugar crusted. So when I get back into it, <clears throat> I get, the what's in the box has got more more farmhouse like hay. Okay. Yeah. Dusty hay to it when I get in. When I, I, I have to really get in there though, which is, so I'm not. Okay. You know, I, I get, I'm getting my nose down into the bowl almost to the glass. I've done this comparison already on my own, and I've actually this time around it's flipped for me. The 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 nose is more distinct out of this one. Oh. Oh. Than it is the blades, which is kind of weird. Normally, I'm getting kind of a peppery, oaky, vanilla type of thing from a Blanton's. I get that on the taste, but I get that 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 smell is pure, like 
that sugar coating crust of uh, on a uh, baked on top of a pie or a custard or something mm -hmm. like that. I always get that in the smell and on the front of the palate. But then yeah. it ends peppery. Oh well, yeah, with the finish. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Okay, I'm actually gonna yeah, I'm gonna try the what's in the what's in the glass. Oh, you're going you're going to the what's in the glass first. Yeah. But you want to do the blends first? I don't know. Do do whatever. He's al he's already halfway through everything he's I, done. I've so. been trying. <clears throat> okay, well you do what you're doing then. I'll just go step with the blends first. Okay, well I'll, I'll step with you on that one. I'm not. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. It's it, 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 is, it is good. I, oh, there's no argument. I, I I love I love it for what the price that we've bought it at. And if and if when we go to Buffalo Trace again next year, if there's a bottle that's available for sixty five, I will buy it then. Mm -hmm. If it, if they've moved it up to eighty, I'll have to I'll have to think real hard on that because I do want the whole topper collection eventually. Mm -hmm. But I was planning on that taking me eight years. <laughs> <laughs> he's now got five, four, <clears throat> three. No, he's two. two. Yeah, one. Lift off. I don't yeah. know how I'm going to talk to you guys anymore. All right. Oh, it's a... It's a <laughs> Victoire! <laughs> <laughs> so are you on the, on the what's in the box? Yeah, yeah. So now we're doing the what's in the box. This reminds me of when we compared uh, the Green River. Okay. And if that's not Green River, I'll be surprised. That's why I said, have we had it? Because I was thinking it. It did the exact same thing. It tastes so so similar. It's got that nice sugary yep. coating mm -hmm. on, it, on top of that vanilla. And it just rides that. Yeah, and the tannins, the pepperiness from the uh, from the oak tannins that you get in blends is not there on whatever this is. Although Green River is a viable option, I, I to blends you, right. How does th whatever's in here compare to that price wise? Uh, I got this one on sale for fifty. I think it's normally fifty five or sixty. Okay, so it's so it's more expensive. Yeah. Okay. So sticking with the what's in the box, we gotta start asking our twenty questions, right? Yep. Is it Kentucky? Yes. Have we been there? No. Uh... We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Right. If you feel is you have reached it... this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again. Seems like the same proof as it lands. Pretty close. Okay. Pretty close in proof. Yeah. Big name? No, not, it's All not, not. Large letters. I'll give you that one. One. <laughs> you shouldn't hang me on a hook. My father hung me on a hook once. Once. Alright, so it's not, not, so it's not a Jim Beam or anything like that. It's not. No. Uh, not a wild turkey, obviously, because there's not that same profile. Have we had the brand before? Not that I'm aware of. Okay, so it's not going to be a Penelope or a, what a, or a, the West Coast thing or whatever. Of Redwood Empire. Redwood Empire. No. No. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that's that's definitely not their profile either. Readily available on the shelf, like, see mm -hmm. it all the time? Mm -hmm. it, it's it's not something that you typically look for, but you'll see it. No, all the rabbit holes are like $70. Um, and I don't even know if they're Kentucky. I don't know either. I'm, I'm drunk. I, I'm not, I passed 150 bottles this morning, but I couldn't tell you one of them. Well, and I know I've heard other people compare things to blends before, but the only thing that sticks in my head is the actual comparison that we've done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to trying to put a thumb on it. Uh, right. Is it a blend or is it a? It is a blend. Yes. Of several whiskey, of several bourbons, because it, that yeah, it's, it's it's a bourbon. It is a bourbon. Okay. Yeah. So it's like you know, like how Barrel does all their their stuff. They're all they're all blended stuff. Yeah. Is it Barrel? No. It's not. It was just a thought that came through my head. Well, if if you found a barrel for fifty bucks, 
And this was one when I when I picked it up off the counter. I'm like, you know what? This would be a good what's in the glass, and that would probably stump everyone. Yeah. It's not four roses because we've been there. I'm just trying to think of what I've walked past. Cause I was I walked past some. I don't know. I, I, I think yeah, I'm stumped. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, here we go. Blade and Bow. Oh. No. You know, I have been meaning to. I've not seen that one. You haven't? No. I've, I've no. seen it often enough. It's not always on the shelf, but I've seen it often enough. The thing, the thing that stopped me was actually the gimmick. Yeah. The thing that has always stopped me about picking this up is that it's got the gimmicky key attached to it, which which if you're wondering, it's number one on the key out of five. Oh, there's not different numbers? Yeah, the one through five, so you can collect all the keys. Oh, no. Oh, uh, because, <laughs> because the symbol's got five different keys on it. Yep. Okay. Now, what's interesting oh. about this one, th this, is in this is an interesting blend because they blend the Solera style. Really? Yeah. I've always, I've always kind of wondered. So, I mean, that, that definitely says, okay, well, these barrels fit the profile that we would use for this, so refill the Solera with this yeah. this barrel. Steltzer Weller, okay. The five keys of Blade & Bow once hung on the front door of the iconic Steltzel, Steltzel Weller... Today, Junior! Steltzel Weller Distillery. These heavy brass keys represent the five steps of crafting bourbon and symbolize the art of making the world's finest whiskeys. That's not a bad tagline to put on your, mm -hmm. on your bottle. Nope. Well, and, and honestly, it's pretty good stuff. I, I'm enjoying yeah. it. Yeah. I I could see picking up this bottle now that I that I've tried this. See now, in my I I, I thought it was tasty when I compare it to what I remember, and I haven't had a, a, a Green uh, River River up lately. But what I remember of Green River. Compare this to Green River, I'd buy the Green River because it's cheaper. I wouldn't go for the keys. I, I might, I might, there might be something that would say, hey, see if you can get all the keys. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sort of a collector. Right. I mean, well, you know, you're the one that, that know, would I, still play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past if you knew where to find that last quarter heart. Yeah, I would. I did. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> oh. I played Legend of Zelda, and I played it interminably, trying to find the la last quarter heart. And I never did find that last quarter heart. Thirty years, he has not been able to let this go. <laughs> it's actually probably our fault that it sticks in this crop, but you know. You are a very bad person, Peter. Between the two, price aside, so price isn't is not a consideration. Well, I, don't, I don't have to. I already know. I'm going to take the blade and bow. What do you got, Bob? I'm going to go with the Blantons because because I'm a, I'm a traditionalist and I got more Blantons at home than I have blade and bow. <laughs> this one's close because if you asked me when I first did this comparison a week a week or two ago, I would have said Blantons. After since since this has been opened up and it's had to breathe a little bit, blade and bows drink has gotten a lot better, but I'm going to have to say that it edges out Blanton's on just a strictly huh. taste position. Now, obviously price comes into play and it's Blanton Bow all day long. Blanton Bow edges out Blanton's on just a taste level for us. In, in comparison, just from the standpoint of this is now $80 where we live, so that's a $15 hike. Yeah. You know, it's kind of disappointing on our end. You know, we, we, we got to do some evaluation here. So, yeah. yeah. In any case, what's your position on this? We'd like to see it in the comments. You know, is does it matter for you, or are you just Blanton's ride or die? You know, or have you had this before with the blade and bow? And do you like it? Do you not like it? You know, let us know. We'd like to hear your thoughts. And so, appreciate you joining. It's been a good time for all bourbon dumb. See you later. Thanks. Hmm.